Hi again. What an unfortunate turn of events. This video should have been recorded from London Airport maybe. Or right after we had visited the Prime Minister, Twitter, BBC, even Buckingham Palace. Guess who was at Buckingham Palace, apart from the Queen, of course. David Beckham. I didn't meet him. I didn't meet anyone. I didn't leave Fiji. Because Fiji Airways never fails to disappoint. So, most of you have already heard or seen in the media on Facebook that Fiji Airways has been having flight delays. Um, we were at the airport Saturday morning. Flight was scheduled for 9 a.m. So obviously, you know, you have to check in three hours before that. We go to the airport only to find out that a morning flight from Nandi to Sydney has been delayed. They told us tentatively that flight is going to leave that evening. I was sent over to a service counter, waited in line for three hours. And they're probably thinking, yeah, a whole flight was delayed. There's so many people, you know, three hours. Okay. There were two people ahead of me in the line. It took them three hours to serve two people. After three hours, when I got to the counter, there's nobody at the counter. I asked the guy who's just, you know, standing there making announcements. And the continuous same announcements repeatedly. Fiji Airways has the strict cabin bag policy. The Sydney and Auckland flights are delayed. We know. We're in the line waiting. So I ask him, where's the attendant? And he points over to the other desk, which was not functional all this time. And all of a sudden, there's a person there waiting to serve people. And people from the back of the line are being served. Tourists are being served. Whereas some of us local waiting in the line following procedure, we have to wait. So I had to wait for two other people to be served at that counter and then she served me. Now in this time, the Hong Kong flight had left, which would have been an option for me to go from uh, Fiji to Hong Kong. And there are numerous flights from Hong Kong out to London and I don't have to worry about visas and stuff like that. When I asked one of the staff, you know, can somebody please attend to me and all I want to know is if I can get on the Hong Kong flight. She tells me with a smile, sorry ma'am, you can't because that flight is oversold. I think that's a problem. I'm not an expert. But if you oversold a flight, that's wrong. So when this lady attends to me at the counter, within that more than three hours that we were waiting in the line, we had looked up options. Sorry, phone. <laughs> Bad habit. We had looked up options and um, every option that we suggested were met with a no. It's funny because um, just that morning I read that um, one of the guests that will be coming to the Buckingham Palace for the award ceremony is David William. David William is one of the two characters in Little Britain. And there's this little piece that they do where um, two of them that I saw, one was at a travel agency and one's at the um, hospital. And whatever people ask him, he's the attendant and he'll be like typing away. And he'll turn around and say, computer says no. And that's the exact feeling I was getting from the airport. Every suggestion we put through was, no, you need a visa. No, that flight is too long for the layover or something. For the first time in my life, I heard that I needed a visa to transit through Singapore. <sighs> Control, patience. Lack of patience drives me insane. So, there was another couple with me, and they were off to London as well, and they said that if there was a seat available, they were willing that I take that seat and that they would come later. 
the one option that they did have was through Singapore and the lady at the counter told me I cannot take that route because I need a visa to go through Singapore. I don't need a visa to go through Singapore because the UK team said that they are able to put me on the Sunday morning flight from Nandi to Brisbane, from Brisbane to Singapore, from Singapore to London. I would get to London Monday morning, which means I only miss the orientation, which is on Sunday night, which is fine, I think. Well, which is fine, I'm there before the award ceremony, which is what matters the most. But service, oh my god! Um, so for, we're waiting there for another three hours for the service counter people to sort out from their end um, all these little logistic details. What I found, and I'm so irritated with this, is I waited three hours already. Then I waited another half an hour or so when she was, you know, catering for the other two people on the side. I waited at her counter and she said, ma'am, um, you can wait here, pointing on the side where there were very few seats, um, saying, oh, you can wait here while we sort out with the travel agent on, you know, rerouting you. So this lady gets on the phone and then she walks off. And I didn't see her again. So standing there for so long already, my legs were getting tired. I was getting impatient. I was getting hungry. I was getting thirsty. I was getting tired and irritated. I went to sit down. And I'm on the phone with the guys from UK. They are giving all these options of, um, you know, you can go through here. You can go through there, blah, blah, blah. And every time I go back to the counter... And I'm like, excuse me, I'm just following up on my... Yes, ma'am. Then she gets on the phone. So this really implies to me that while you've asked me to wait on the side, you're not exactly doing anything about my situation and you're just attending to other people. Which is wrong. I'm, I'm just going to be frank and say which is wrong. And um, um, we were told that the flight is delayed due to operational issues. Whatever that is just said operational issues then one guy comes around yelling oh twenty dollars meal voucher for you twenty dollars meal voucher for you and that they were sorting out our accommodation um, the only cafeteria open was the airport cafeteria I went there the food did not look appealing I am sorry to the guys at the at the airport cafeteria but your food just did not look appealing for twenty dollars I managed to get three bottles of the juice and two big packets of twisties now while I'm sitting inside waiting and getting all of these things sorted my family is waiting outside and currently the Nandi airports under renovation so they can't come inside um, you know it's hot they don't know what's happening inside. I try to call them. And that's costing me as well. You know, the, the parking has been costing me. The phone calls have been costing me. And, you know, your incompetency is costing me a great deal anyway. So when UK finally manages to um, sort out my flights with um, um, Brisbane, Singapore route, I go in and tell them, look, I'm going now. And um, they're like, oh, we are, we are arranging your accommodations. I said, look, I'm not going to sit around here and wait. Here's my number. Call me. I'm going to go and get real food. So our family left. We were eating when they called and said that your accommodation is ready. Now, we have been waiting in line since before 7 a.m. Right? It was between 6.30 and 7 a.m. that we've been waiting in that line. Um, they knew by then because when we got to the airport, it was a little bit after 6.30 and it had already, you know, it's already plastered everywhere that the Sydney flight's delayed. So since then, they are trying to look for accommodation. It was around 1.30 almost. No, it was around 2 o'clock because we were already having lunch. It was around 2 o'clock when they called us to tell us that our accommodation is sorted. It took them that long to find accommodation. So, you know, naturally... The hotel that they put me in, I called and I told them that, look, I'm having lunch right now. I'll come there as soon as I can, but I am coming. And then we tried to arrange for accommodation for the rest of our family, which is costing us separately, right? And the staff at the airport, neither the staff at the hotel, tell us that for delayed passengers, that dinner and breakfast is included. 
we went looking for food as well. So, a lot of incompetencies.